so it has been a while since I made a video and I just wanted to give an update. I'm not planning to finish today. I'm kind of on a time crunch. But anyways, I, um, I decided to make a video because I don't want to completely neglect this channel. <laughs> And uh, if you're not aware, this channel is a channel um, created to help end the stigma around bipolar disorder. I have bipolar type 2 disorder, and um, I try to do like a video every week just kind of like giving enlightenment on uh, what it's like to have it, what I'm dealing with, and yeah, so here I am. My name's Sarah. Nice to meet you. Um, so I did have a little, I did want to play a game and talk about this stuff and kind of just ramble on like I usually do, but I don't have time to set up my game today. I'm on a time crunch. Um, so I just kind of made this list of something that, um, uh, triggered me like a, uh, this was like two weeks ago, but last week I couldn't make a video because my cat, I had to put my cat down and it was really sad and I just... And I just had so much going on in my life, and I just, uh, this was not a priority for me that week. But this week I am trying to make it a priority, so here I am. <laughs> uh, but yes, I put my cat down last week, so needless to say, it was a little bit of an emotional week. And, um, but here I am, I am strong, and if you're dealing with something like this, like putting a pet down, you are strong too. So, um, anyways, the topic that I wanted to talk about today is, uh, reliability and how it impacts me when I have bipolar disorder. It is one of, like, the biggest triggers to some of my anger outbursts, uh, when someone is not, like, reliable, and I have grown to get better at how I respond to it and, um, kind of, like, working through it myself, um, and for instead of taking it out on somebody else who is not making me a priority in their life and who is not, um, when, when before I would take it very personal and I think I would hold it in and then after like, you know, like, oh, first time, okay, shame on them, second time, shame on me and blah, 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 then like the third time just like explode on them. Well, I don't do that anymore, but I do notice I still get triggered and get angry by people who are not reliable. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. I'm sure it's not a bipolar thing. I'm sure people, you know, everyone wants to feel like they're someone's priority, especially if it's like a friend or family member. Um, so, yes. But I just thought I would go over, like, this questionnaire thing I kind of do in my journal because recently I had someone in my life. Well, actually, I had, like, two people in my life who um, just kind of, like, they were just living their life, doing their thing, you know, nothing personal. But I realized I started to take it personal when I was trying, when I like, um, was like setting up a date with them to do something and they either just never responded to my messages or they just took a couple days to respond and it kind of like made me feel angry. It made me feel like I was some kind of less than of a person, which I'm not. It's just that, you know, I'm just not that person's priority at this moment in their life, which is fine. You know, it's fine. But, um, when I am getting angry at these people, instead of exploding on them, I kind of, like, I made this, this past week, when was it? Um, it was Thursday the 18th, I made this, so this is like 10 days ago <laughs> when this happened, but I just, I think it was, it was a really cool thing that I made, and, um, some of the questions I have here is that I ask myself if this person is, you know, important to me, and if I want to continue a relationship with them, so, um... I'll just go down the list of questions, and if you want to write these down, and if you struggle with this too, maybe if you kind of go down this list of questions, um, then you can, it'll help you uh, evaluate if you want to continue having a relationship with this person or not in a clear-headed state instead of just exploding on them and saying, I don't want to be your friend anymore, or you suck, you know, like what, you, what I kind of want to do. So, <laughs> um... So the first question I wrote down on the list was, um, is, is this person like worth the disappointment, um, when they're unreliable? Like, do I, um, you know, do I enjoy their time so much when I do spend time with them that it's worth like, you know, okay, they stood me up or they didn't answer or they weren't reliable in whatever shape or form. Um, are they worth it for the times that I do share with them? Um, is it 
forth the frustration of being repeatedly let down. So um, not only like the first time, but multiple times. And um, does this person bring value to my life? Are they, um, and you know, and when I'm with them, do I, you know, not shame them for them just being them, you know, for them just, yeah, just being them and living their life. So, um, and then uh, the next question after that I put is like, how frequently do they let me down versus how often are they there? Um, and I think that that is an important question to ask when you are, you know, when you are getting so frustrated with this person or these people and how often, how often is this happening? Like, is this happening all the time? Like, and if so, am I taking it very personal every single time? Like, that's kind of a me problem. Um, the next question I did, I said, did I make them uncomfortable that they were fine with disappointing or letting me down? Like, is there something I did that maybe made them upset that I'm unaware of that maybe that is why they, you know, why they maybe left me hanging, you know, like maybe I did something and that's something that you don't always have to confront them about. You don't have to message them or something. Just kind of do like a little brainstorm like maybe I did something unintentionally to upset them or maybe there's something about me that makes them uncomfortable you know so maybe they just don't want to hang out with me you know and that's fine too because I'm just being myself but it's just kind of like if I want to continue a relationship with this said person um I should probably think you know this is a reason why they are not responding like what am I doing to maybe get this lack of response <laughs> and if I do want more responses I gotta fix that problem and I gotta you know so I mean you, I mean it might help if you communicate with them but I mean it's kind of I'm, I'm not very confrontational so I just kind of like whatever you know um but or sometimes if it's someone really close then I might be like did I do something you know did I do something are you mad at me <laughs> um another question that for one of the persons that kind of like let me down I just kind of like I ask myself if they're an honest person um like if I you know like I don't know it's just something I put on this list of questions that I thought uh, about them like are they an honest person do they communicate like towards this relationship is that the kind of relationship I want to have with someone if they're not honest or they don't communicate um so yeah um are they willing to change if they aren't honest or they don't communicate frequently are they willing if i can if i do decide to take the next step and can confront them or not confront them because it's not like host i don't want to be hostile while i'm doing it but like if i happen to bring up to them like hey yo we were supposed to meet up and uh you never reached out or, or you never responded to me when i reached out to confirm that we were meeting up you know like um are they willing to be honest about it or are they just going to be like oh you know, just blow me off. Um, and then I put, uh, if they're willing to change, um, and that's something that it just takes time to figure out. Um, are they upsetting, are they upsetting me, um, and are putting their needs first, which, I mean, everyone puts their own needs first, I think. I mean, I mean, maybe not. I don't know. I mean, that's kind of a complex question, you know, and it takes a lot of brainstorming and it's just kind of like, it has to be like a really big person in your life if you, you know, are really like having this whole, you know, <laughs> like <laughs> all these questions just to see if you decide if you want to have this person in your life as a, like, you know, one of your main support systems. Um, and then if you do confront them, do they even apologize for not showing up for you? You know, does it even phase them that they have let you down in this way, shape or form? Uh, so if that, I mean, if that's kind of like a big red flag, if they don't even like, they're just like, eh, whatever, you know, or they, they just don't do anything like that. Like, it's just kind of like, that's a big red flag to kind of maybe stay away from that person. And to me, I think that is a lesson I had to learn. I mean, I, was, I just turned 32 this week. It was my birthday. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it's just kind of like, that, that took a long, long time to learn that lesson with just various people throughout my life. It's just, uh, when they don't even, like, 
realize, like, repetitively and don't even acknowledge, like, the impact that they might have on people. Um, and they're very self-centered. Um, that's a big red flag for me. Um, and then the last question I have is what, um, are they worth all this disappointment? Are they worth, after time and time again, are they even worth it? So, yeah. That was the questionnaire list that I wrote when someone, like, obsessed me. And I know it's, it's not personal for the most part, just whatever they've got going on in their life. And, um, and if it is personal, then that's on them to communicate that, you know, or just don't be friends with me or something, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. But yeah, that was something I was struggling with, um, not this week, but the week before. And I don't know. It just, I think it has helped me when it comes to building relationships with people, um, in my life. And also not, not only like how those people are doing it to me, um, how they, this is happening to me, like, you know, throughout the time, throughout my life or occasionally, you know, um, but also have I done this to other people and how do I respond and how can I be a better friend to them? Because like, Yes, I might react stronger than the average person, but given my bipolar disorder and my extreme emotions, um, which, you know, I give myself some pride because I have improved greatly, <laughs> but, um, yes, they still have just, I mean, people are people, they have feelings, you know, and I don't want to have this impact on them just because they might not r react the way I have in the past or um, express the extreme emotions that I have with bipolar or doesn't mean that they don't feel that way. So that's something to also take into consideration is in what ways have, um, you or I, um, done these things or respected people or impacted people in their lives and how they view me and how can I improve on that too? So, um, yeah, that's all I really got for this week. I know it's kind of like a weird video. Um, but yeah, it's just something I struggle, I have struggled with. It's definitely a big trigger when it comes to my moods and my, um, you know, kind of like frustrate when people frustrate me. That's one of the big things. So, all right. Well, I got to go. I have got to go. <laughs> uh, if you like what you see, like, and subscribe, you know, the drill, uh, you can leave a comment, you can reach out. Um, and as always, I look forward to anybody responding to my videos. <laughs> okay, well, you guys have a good week, and love, peace, and chicken grease.